where Myanmar's junta has now executed four prisoners, including a former lawmaker from Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy party. Now, this reportedly is the first time that the country is using capital punishment in several decades. Now, the four individuals who have been executed reportedly include a prominent democracy activist for leading what is being described as a quote-unquote brutal and an inhumane terror act. The executions were carried out under the prison's procedure without much details being given as to when and how the men had been executed. Now, the junta had sentenced, has sentenced dozens of anti-coup activists to death since seizing power last year. The sentences came as a part of its crackdown and dissent. However, Myanmar has not carried out an execution for decades. Now, Pyo Zia Thor, who is a former lawmaker from Aung San Suu Kyi's National League of Democracy, remember, was arrested in the month of November last year. He had been sentenced to death in the month of January early this year for offences under the anti-terror laws in Myanmar. Uh, Thor had been accused of orchestrating several attacks on regime forces, which included a gun attack on a commuter train in which five policemen were killed in the month of August. He was elected to the parliament representing Aung San Suu Kyi's party in the 2015 elections. This had ushered in a transition to a certain kind of a civilian rule in Myanmar. The prominent democracy activist Kyo Min Yu has also received the same sentence, that is the death sentence from the military tribunal. The two other men were also sentenced to death for killing a woman. They had alleged that she was an informer of the military junta. Global leaders have heavily criticized the military junta when they announced their intention to carry out the executions last month. The United Nations Secretary General also condemned the junta's decision, adding that this was a blatant violation of the right to life, liberty and security of person. The Human Rights Watch has also criticized the junta for the executions, adding that this was a sign of depravity. This is clearly a signal to the Myanmar people from the junta that they are prepared to do whatever it takes, whatever rights abuses, whatever atrocities, whatever crimes uh, that it, they think they need to do in order to try to control the situation. They are now moving to execute political prisoners. That is the message today, that we will stop at nothing. Uh, it is a sign of the depravity of the Myanmar junta that they are prepared to take this kind of step. Now, the country's military alleged water fraud during the elections in 2020. They used this as justification for their coup on the 1st of February last year. Now, Aung San Suu Kyi has been detained since then and also faces a slew of charges in a junta court. This could see her face a prison sentence of more than 150 years. Now, we are earlier joined by journalist Ong Nyang So, and this is what he had to say about the latest executions in Myanmar. This is a very shocking news for the whole country. Uh, many people expected that the junta will not uh, execute these uh, activists. That they they would they just send us uh, death penalty against them, but they would not be executed. That's what uh, many people have expected. But and uh, also just a few days ago, uh, the military the military informed the family members of those activists uh, to join a Zoom meeting with. Um, with uh, the death sentence uh, prisoners, uh, like four of them, uh, and after this meeting, the military said, like they don't have any, they don't have a plan to plan for the execution yet. And in a in a couple of days, they they just uh, wrote on a state control newspaper in a very small note under the like underneath some one of the pages, and it says like uh, the. The, the punishment has already carried out. Uh, it is it is very vague information that they give to uh, local people and also the international community. They are unclear that whether they they gave that they carry out the death penalty actually or not. But then we managed to get verification through the family members. Um, uh, some prison officials confirmed to the remaining families that the death penalty has executed uh, already, but. The prison officials refused to uh, give the dead bodies. Uh, yeah, they refused to give the dead bodies to the family members, and this is really against against the prison manual. Uh, and so the military is clearly violating all the rights of the prisoners and the people.
Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.